Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys watching today's video and making some time for it. It's always appreciated. And guys, today I'm gonna show you a really cool hack that you can do with a milk jug or a water jug, something like this. Um, this is something that I have been doing for probably close to 30 years and it definitely adds up to landing a lot more fish and how I'm gonna use this in correlation with chatter baits, spinner baits, buzz baits. I think you guys are really gonna like it here. Uh, real quick guys, just a couple quick housekeeping tips. I wanna invite everybody to uh, swing by fishthemoment.com and check out our virtual lessons where you guys can book a virtual lesson with me and we can go over any topic in fishing you want to on a one-on-one -on -one call. And our uh, fall lake map breakdowns are up on the website too. You guys uh, got our, all of our fall maps. We got all of our season maps up there but specifically falls right around the corner now and our fall late map, late map breakdowns are a good way to get some good spots on your favorite fishing lake and get you all lined out there. So I'll put the links in the description here for that, much appreciated. Okay guys, today we're gonna to be talking about a fixing or how to fix a trailer hook to like anything that needs a trailer hook, like a buzz bait or a spinner bait, chatter bait, something like that. And I'm gonna show you guys the most common way people do it, which is the, the mistake. It's the worst way to do it. I'm gonna explain why, then I'm gonna show you what the best way is using a milk jug here. So anyway, guys, let's talk about this a little bit. Um, there's pretty much three categories that, that use trailer hooks. Uh, spinner baits, buzz baits, chatter bait some, and maybe even a swim jig some. And uh, the whole idea behind it, obviously, is to set the hook farther back there where you can get those short nippers to hit it. But the main thing, guys, is, is how you attach this on here it has a lot to do with the efficiency of the lure. And I'm gonna show you how most people do it. Most people have like this little rubber stopper here. And what they do is they uh, put it up over the hook, over the hook eye, get it up on here. I'm gonna show you how they put it on there, which is not the right way to do it. And I'll explain you why it's not the right way to do it. But most people put that little cover over it like that and then they hook it on like this, like that. Now, okay, this you might look at this and say, well, that's fine, anything, but guys, th th you don't want this, and I'm explaining why. See how stiff this thing is right here? What num well, number one, what it does is, it, is if, if a fish bites it, it gives it more leverage because it doesn't move very freely. But more importantly is when you're casting this bait like this and you hit it against a rock or you slap it against the water most of the time the trailer hook comes back crooked like this it's like it, your your bait's coming through the water with the thing off at a cockeyed like that because it's affixed to the hook and it doesn't serve any purpose at that point or it doesn't serve the most efficient purpose on there and number two it looks terrible i mean look at that on there if, if you're if you're a fish and you're running this thing, thing through the water on a spinnerbait or a chatterbait or whatever, and you see this cockeyed trailer hook on there, it's a strike deterrent too. So never use these type of rubber slip-on things that most trailer hooks come with in the package. I don't know why they do that. What you wanna do, guys, is get you, like I said, some type of a, a clear or milk-colored milk jug or water jug, and take a pair of scissors and slice out some strips off it. This is a strip off of just a, a milky colored milk jug. And normally what I'll do is I'll, you know, I'll, I'll cut this one half a little bit more to make my a little easier, about that big, and then cut off a little square on it. Cut off a little too much there. Like that, you got, just got a little square piece of plastic. Next thing you wanna do is uh, put your trailer hook on and trailer hook guys, another little tip on trailer hooks, they can go on either way. You can put them on like that, or you can also put them on um, like this where they're upside down. And sometimes if the fish are coming up on a bait, you know, having it upside down is a way to get it if you're not fishing it through some thicker stuff. Another thing about trailer hooks guys, before I show you this, try not to use a trailer hook. You'll get more bites with no trailer hook than you will with a trailer hook all the time for sure. So anyway, just put your trailer hook on there and take your square piece of plastic jug and just go over the, just put it over the, the main part of the hook here. So I've got it in like that. And then the next thing you do is just take your scissors and trim it back, trim off the excess on it all the way around. You don't want any more sticking out than you absolutely have to. So 
so I've got it like that. Now, the advantage of this here, guys, see, you, you still have the keeper, which is designed to keep the trailer hook from coming off the hook, but you've got complete freedom of movement. See how this thing just moves around like that? And as you're reeling it through the water column, it's always gonna follow straight. It's not gonna ever be, get caught off the side. It's gonna follow straight all the time. And on top of that is if you get a fish by the trailer hook here, and that fish is shaking that, that, that bait like that, the freedom of movement, since there's nothing impeding it, will reduce the amount of leverage that a fish has where they can throw that trailer hook. So anyway, guys, this is the only way that I do it. Absolutely, I never use any other thing. Just get you a milk jug, that way you don't have to pay for the keeper things anyway. And uh, it's definitely gonna add up to losing a lot more fish on it. And it's just not only losing fish, but you're also gonna get more bites because it just looks better with the thing on there. So anyway, cool little trailer hook uh, hack. Hope you guys liked it and we'll see y'all later.